Hey guys, Cal here bringing you another video. This one is going to be the Strategic Rush series. This account is definitely the one that needs the most amount of work and is probably falling the most behind because of our lack of playing it. Um, but we're going to keep on going here. We do have enough Dark Elixir to... No, we don't. Uh, we don't have enough Dark Elixir to drop a hero. But we are using the Electro Dragons here, which are very good at doing that. I probably shouldn't have dropped my Warden as uh, um, <laughs> as we definitely like having him for the Electro Dragon attacks. But nonetheless, we definitely should uh, get into them. Right now, of course, Strategic Rushing. We upgrade the heroes and then we move on. Our heroes are currently level 43. Um, they need to get to level 50, and Warden is level 14, needing to get to level 20. Uh, our Blacksmith is all maxed out, and I believe all our Offense is maxed out. There probably is other things we need to upgrade, but by the looks of things, we have upgraded all the Offense necessary, so we should actually be going to Town Hall 12 relatively soon. In the... In... Uh, this what is this called the lab in the lab we do like pekka bow bat and we have maxed out all that except this freeze spell so we're going to be needing to upgrade the freeze spell before we move on but besides that i think that's all we need besides maybe some ice golems would be great but very little we need for the pekka bow bat just pekka's bowlers and bat spells and uh, yeah that's pretty much all we need. So we're looking pretty good to go into Town Hall 12 uh, once these heroes are maxed. And uh, I don't know when that will be. Probably two more weeks or three more weeks. Uh, depending on how long these heroes take to upgrade. Four days. So probably a few more weeks here. But we're very close to going to Town Hall 12. Which is very exciting. So let's go right into the army composition. We have eight dragons and the rest rage spells. And I do recommend bringing one Log Launcher. And I think this attack gets better with heroes. As, as long as you have one hero, getting to the core of the base is actually pretty easy. We're going to be hitting Town Halls that have 5,000 to give, which is this one. And let's just get right into it. I like dropping three Rages like this. And then drop... Oh! And absolutely butchering... Uh, with the log launcher here, so hopefully uh, we can get some uh, deep push in with this log launcher, but the point of the log launcher is once you clear out this big line with the e-drags, you drop your log launcher to make a straight path to the town hall, and uh, once that path has been created for the town hall, you can send your heroes in, and they should be able to take out whatever is in that core. In this case, it's the Town Hall. Sometimes it's the Dark Elixir Storage. And it's really easy to get all the Dark Elixir. This is one of my favorite Dark Elixir farming strategies. It doesn't do the other loots very well. But, as I always say, Dark Elixir is the most important thing because you will farm all the other loots uh, just by playing the game as elixir is not really used besides troop upgrades um, and it's not really used anywhere else whereas um, the gold upgrades we don't really do too many of them we mostly just pump them into walls um, as most of our uh, what's it called as most of our upgrades are focused on those heroes that use um that use that dark elixir so we have a lot of time where we use farming where we farm the hero levels that we don't really have a place for that gold to go anyways so that's one of the big reasons why i love uh dark elixir or i'm a big dark elixir only farming fan for, while I was babbling, I did forget to uh, bring a log launcher. So, hopefully, because this is 8k, 
we can go for it here. These electric dragons are only level one, which is a little bit of a shame and is going to make it a little bit more difficult for us to get the value that we need. And uh, just like this, if we had a log launcher, it definitely would be great. It looks like the, the funnel job is so good actually that the king is going to go to the core even though there's plenty of things for him to hit outside of this which um, could be uh, a point for or against the need of a log launcher but you never really want to bank on the fact that your heroes will do all the heavy lifting for you or that uh, the pathing will just happen um, sometimes it isn't in the heart of the cards and uh, it needs to be done but it looks like we did get lucky here with our king being able to push through to this core and this is what I'm saying as long as you have a hero um, you should be able to get into the core the king with his ability definitely would have been plenty powerful enough to get into and clear out this core the same thing with a queen um, with that log launcher softening, softening everything up ooh 69 let's close it up um, softening everything up we definitely would have easily been able to take that out so here we do have enough for that king I'm gonna drop it right there and I shouldn't have actually used all my gold on those walls as now I don't really have anywhere to put this gold or uh, things to do so I'm gonna start placing buildings I think that's all we need to do here as we prepare to go to the next town hall need to have all these big upgrades done so going to keep on going here is this the goblin one okay it is it is the goblin one so we're not going to be doing that but very easy attacks here you get 5k pretty much every single time especially with the log launcher and heroes that you never really have to worry stress too much about getting everything because the electro dragons will tend to get everything we saw in all those attacks that the drills are relatively easy to access if you have some drills that are along the outside definitely just drop one e-drag to get them it's more important that you get the dark elixir more so than uh getting the stars uh it's fine to fail raids you definitely will um especially if your e-drags are level one but as long as you're getting 5k per raid you can't be too upset about that it just makes it so that you need to log on a little bit less and see Five times two is ten times eight is uh, one Archer Queen ability. And eight attacks is uh, the perfect amount for if you are looking at a four day upgrade. As long as you attack twice a day, get ten. Yeah, you attack twice a day, you'll easily be able to get that. Um, it does make it so that you need to attack four times a day to get both heroes. But um, the attacks are so quick that if you really are trying to uh, rush in this fashion, um, you really have to be on top of it. And it is the most time-consuming way to upgrade a town, uh, an account, but it definitely is the most rewarding as you will have those high-level heroes to be able to do anything you want with them. Whereas if you rush, even though we do have those hero potions... Um, you won't be able to use them for war or uh, what's called like legend league trophy pushing there's just that you're kind of limited whereas if you're doing it this way you are not limited you're just able to progress the way that you want and uh, even with the hero equipment being um, a factor through rushing this way you're gonna be doing so many attacks that you will get to that uh you will get there, and it will be pretty easy for you to maintain, uh, to keep those, uh, those, uh, equipments upgraded. As you see, we're already maxed out the Warden one. We've maxed out, we haven't maxed out, uh, we're a little bit short to max out this Queen here, um, being the two most important. And, uh, the Gauntlet, of course, is going to take forever. You shouldn't really expect to get too much on the Epic Agree- epic equipment i actually recommend not upgrading it i upgraded to 10 um because i got excited when it first came out 
But making sure that all your heroes are strong is more important than having one really giga strong hero. So right now I got the gauntlet to 10, but I'm going to be chilling. I'm going to max out my warden, max out my queen, and then I'll max out probably the rage vial. And then once we're all done with that, then I'll put all access into excess uh, abilities into that king here. Um, and we aren't even going to look at <laughs> we're not even going to look at this one yet. Oh, uh, epic gear is so it's so it is so. But the nice thing about it, even though epic gear is very difficult to farm, um, this doesn't really change the meta down here in the lower town halls. You are easily able to clear out bases with the regular hero gear, and um, by the time you get to town hall 16. Especially if you are farming now, you should be able to get there um, and max out, be maxed out and be fully capable of taking out bases without needing to really deal with this epic gear. Um, so don't get too frustrated about it. I don't recommend upgrading them at all at the lower town halls because it's already pretty easy to three star if you know what you're doing. And if you want to know what you're doing, definitely subscribe to the channel, join us in war. I uh, didn't show it in the last episode, but I showed it in the first episode. This is the uh, the clan. If you do want to join, all you have to do is say YouTube. We'll put you in. Uh, just don't be inactive for a week or else you're going to get kicked. And if we're too full, we're of course going to have to kick lower town halls or limit people to one account. Um, but yeah, we have plenty of attacks. You'll be able to join me in war and watch what I do alongside me. And uh, definitely take notes there and get yourself those easy three stars. So hopefully you all did enjoy the video. Oh, it looks like we can upgrade something here. Boom. Hopefully you all did enjoy the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.